Okay, hi. Here I am in this church in the village. And I'm not actually sure what the name of the church is, but I got came in here because there was a lion, a big lion in the courtyard. And every time I come here, I, I'm drawn to this place, even though there's spooky, scary people outside and, and it's in the middle of all this craziness. I, I'm drawn to this place. and. So, there's the lion outside. Let me show you the lion first. I don't know if you can see it. There's the lion. And the lion is looking over here. It's looking at something. And over here... Uh, we have... <sighs> this grave. 1823. Over here we have the vault of Gideon Lee, 1823. And over here, this is number one. This is Martin. Le Mays vault, 1823. So then we have this stuff in the middle, the peace sign. This looks like it was done way after it. And then we have some stones here that look like they may have been standing. <clears throat> this is W.M. Merrill's family vault, number 55. Number 106. I'm shooting this all wrong. Let me try again. 106. John Watson and Henry H. Watson. And over here, 1815, we have George Wutherspoon. And over here, Ah. Reminiscent of washing the grave. This is... I can't read this one. Jamie... Cox Vault. Number 108. There's quite a lot of them here. Ah. I can't read that one either. Here's another one. What is the lion looking at? <clears throat> this is Ray William Coleman. John Lormy Graham. Samuel. Tucker and John G. Warren. So this is in loving memory of Tony Papp, who died recently. Now, this one has a secret collection of stones. sure to do with this one. My ears are ringing. In the presence of God, I remove this from your grave so that you may be at peace and oneness with the world and the universe and the goodness of the Creator from whence you came. 
hope that your soul is free. This is Smith Cutter's fault. This one's very old, I can't even read it. And some of these are even beyond being able to clean. Anyway, the lion was looking over here somewhere. I don't know where. It's a beautiful church. And over here there's a beautiful bell. And it's got a big crack in it. Nineteen fifty eight. Henry Cooper and Company. Boston. Big giant bell. Hmm. Number 21, 22. Let's see what this says. Oh. In honor of service, the War of 1812, New York City. Oh. Sacred. Something on the day of this whatever, and governor of the state of New York, vice president of the state of New York. Ah, to the memory of Mangle Minthorn. Mangle Minthorn. Wow, who departed this life on the 20th day, aged 83 in six days. And then they buried some other guys there too. Nicholas Fish's Vault, Edward Lair, truly a, a magnificent place. In this vault was buried Petrus Stuyvesant, late Captain General and Governor Chief of Amsterdam in the New Netherlands, now called New York, and the Dutch West India Han Islands, died February 1672, aged 80 years. Thomas Addis Emerald and David Jones. Now here's a statue of Petrus Stuyvesant. Not much light. There's a lot of words here and talks about what he did and all. Let's see what Petrus is looking at. Petrus? He's looking over here at the Indian. And the lion is looking over here at Petrus. And Petrus is looking at the Indian. And let's see the Indian. You know what the Indian is looking at. There's the Indian. And the Indian appears to be looking up. But maybe he's looking across other Indian. I don't know. Here's the other Indian. The other Indian looks very sad. The other Indian is looking Daniel Tompkins. I don't know what he did. The Great American. Well, there you have it. Outdoor tour of the graveyard of St. Mark's Church.